Colorado Mountain College has a new massive solar array in its Glenwood campus in Glenwood Springs. In fact, it's the largest that the Purdue that has been uh, produced in the state so far. Right, so Matt Renew is in the Mountain Newsroom and Matt, the solar installation at the Spring Valley campus can collect energy and then store it in massive batteries. You're right, Corey and Gary, and that's what makes it so interesting. It is a major project, 4.5 megawatts and a big stack of batteries. It's the largest in the state to produce energy and then store it in batteries. And Holy Cross Energy says more projects like it are being planned as they work to become 100% renewable in the next eight years. At the Colorado Mountain College Spring Valley campus, work is wrapping yeah, up. Know, the teams have worked really hard. And Holy Cross Energy President and CEO Brian Hannigan says they're about ready to power up. Bring this on before the snow starts. The largest solar battery storage facility in the state. This is the first combined solar plus storage installation at the utility scale here in Colorado. A massive solar array. 22 acres. That Scott Ely with SunSense Solar says can track the sun. Tracks the sun from east to west on a daily basis. Powering more than a thousand homes or the equivalent of three Colorado mountain campuses. To offset the energy consumption from those three campuses. And then store that energy in these massive battery packs. 68 containers worth of batteries. That can be used when people are drawing power the most. To manage and dispatch the flow of electricity from the solar panels through the batteries into the grid. Which is something Brian says. And not have to turn on a natural gas turbine. Is about ready to electrify the energy industry. We're showing how this clean energy transition can be done in a way that's reliable, affordable, and safe. Holy Cross Energy says that that solar array could power that Spring Valley campus, which they would then use in emergencies uh, for the community to stay in during major power outages. They also have a similar installation in the works for the Aspen Airport that would be able to power that airport during outages. And Gary, Corey, they have even larger installations planned in the coming years that will be put in place near Rifle and Parachute, mm. a place known for its natural gas drilling but is becoming more and more solar powered. Some big yep. projects on the horizon. Yeah, those colleges are teaching us lessons, I guess. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it is the future for sure. All right. Thanks, Matt. Pretty interesting stuff. Yep.